I just voted in Nevada without a state ID, without having to submit my passport. They just allowed me to fill out the voter registration card. I did not need to offer proof as to the fact that I'm from there. Now, the last stop that I had in the United States was in Nevada and we owned a house there. So I definitely believe that I'm within my right to claim residence in the state as I had intended to before my wife ran into immigration problems being a Canadian, who of course is much riskier than all of the agents coming over from the Middle East that are now have flooded across the border, but they kicked us out when they did and gave us three months in the state to fix up our house. But nevertheless, Nevada allowed me to vote without an ID. I've got the voter registration for absentee ballot here. The point being that I did not have to prove who I was. I had to attach a social security number, I believe, or at least the last four digits of it because it's printed here on one of the pages. I had to sign it in my name and mail it in. My question is, how hard is it and why would they possibly leave this open at a time when we are doubting the veracity of our election systems? the ability to distinguish illegal votes from real ones when there are so many people on voter registration rolls around the nation who have social security numbers that could easily be discovered, that you can have a mass mail-in campaign and you can launder it with all the advertisement that I see from living overseas for the last few years in Thailand and Mexico and Canada and all these other places that I've been, but in the recent times leading up to the election, I've seen tons of Facebook ads for voters abroad. So you get as many of these votes as possible, you harvest them, and then you augment them in certain jurisdictions where the congressional vote is going to be very, very close, and you fill the forms out for people that are dead or haven't voted in 20 years, that still have residence in the state, perhaps some tie that the local election board will allow the vote. And of course, there's no check on the signature. There's no nothing. And I'm saying that this is almost by design a way that people can funnel illegal votes into the election system. There's no way to check for it because they didn't check me at all. I filled in my ballot properly. I voted for Donald Trump. I registered as a Republican for the first time ever. And because I grew up as a Democrat, by the way, that felt a little bit weird to me. Oh my God, I'm a Republican. Yeah, now I'm a Republican because the Democrats have gone completely crazy. I'm basically a libertarian, but for purposes of voting, I am Repu voted Republican across the board because fuck the Democrats. Fuck their ability to send boys into girls' bathrooms. I have two girls that are very young, and I do not want to see boys competing with them in sports or going into the bathroom with them. And to have flooded the nation with illegal immigrants and to have spent the money that they have and to have started world wars, essentially. I despise the Democrats for so many reasons, including the mandates of the vaccine and the forced uptake for children who weren't even at risk from the disease and all the lies that they told and for wokeifying our military and spending taxpayer dollars on transgender surgeries for illegal migrants and prisoners. Those are your, that's your money that you worked hard for. And this is how they spend it? No, thank you. But my point, aside of the fact that I'm railing against the Democrats because I actually despise them and they drove me away from the party, is the fact that I'm pretty darn sure that we are going to see shenanigans with the overseas vote simply because I went through the process and I see how many holes are in it. Again, no voter ID, no passport. I had to know a social security number, or at least the last four, but that's easily available information for any hacker who can get into the voter rules and fill out these forms for them and then launder them with increased overseas voting that the Democrats are trying to get. And they're also, in my opinion, going to do the same for Republicans, frame some nincompoop, some patsy for doing this so that they can point to them while they smuggle in all of the overseas votes.
It's not good. I should not have been able to vote in Nevada. I did not know that 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 was a possibility until very recently. I was planning when I was in Mexico to go back and get my driver's license in Nevada because my old one has expired because it's been so many years since I've been living in the United States. But I didn't have to. So I didn't go. And although I am certainly a legal voter for the state of Nevada, I think that there are going to be tons of people that are going to show up, show up and vote that might not be alive. The real question is, how is the dead vote going to go? That becomes the question and the key to this election. How are those who are six feet under feeling about the state of the United States? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace.